Hi, Bruce from Safari. We're going to do a little final filming on this LC79 before it leaves us and goes over to the west. Uh, that's under the engine bay for everyone to have a quick look at. It's, uh, it's uh, well and truly fitted out. And then in the back here, we've got the power plant. And let me just talk through what the difficulty uh, that uh, the rear winch pre uh, presents. So this has got a 14,000 pound rear winch in the rear. And that uh, distributor you see up there has got two 70 mil cables coming in from the alternator, one going to Scotty and the other one goes off to the winch. Now, without having that in there, it means Scotty here is adding 250 amps to the rear winch. Without having that in there, the rear winch wouldn't have a prayer of a chance. So you've got the alternator in the front coming into here and then adding onto that a Scotty at 250 amps and then 70 mil squared going out to the winch in the rear. From here, it's probably about max three meters and it will actually hold up. 6,000 inverter, we've got the hub down the bottom there. Uh, this inverter charger also comes off the roof, so 400 watt on the roof, 76 volts comes off, comes straight in. Four of the 200 amp ba batteries in here. Now, that's the 12 volt distribution. You can see we've got a shunt on there. That's purely just to read the 12 volt, and it's also going to be uh, reading for us uh, some auxiliary voltages. That's the only reason why I put it in. And then over here is the 48 volt power distribution on this mega fuse holder here. We've got four in there. And so this is running the batteries. Because the batteries are not side by side, they have to have individual lines running up. So I've got three running up, these two here are joined together. And so otherwise I get dissimilar lengths. I have a problem with the uh, dissimilar battery voltages and long-term that will present an issue. And then in the last run here, we've got the uh, inverter coming out. In the middle over there now, we've got the Garmin power switch, which we've showed a video of before. And we're now a Garmin distributor as of this morning. <laughs> And uh, that's an incredible switch because that's activated both off here, which I think I've shown before when I turn it on, I can configure it as to which items are coming on and that power switch is running the side lights and the front LED spot. So the front LED spot can be triggered by um, either the smartphone app or using this switch up here. I can turn the other one on, you can see all six are coming on. Um, or you can actually manually lean across and hit a button there for backup. Then we've got our 12 volt power distribution at the back. When the drawer goes in here, you can still lean across. If the LED comes on there, it means there's a short circuit um, on that. And uh, the smart switch is in the rear, which means this switch here is running both sides. So we've got the same switch both sides, activate this on one side, and you, it activates on the other side exactly at the same time. Um, and then we've got our uh, isolator on the end here, very easy to get to. RCBOs up here, we've got a big one on the end because we've got the electric hot water, so four RCBOs, and then that's the solar breaker. Now the solar breaker we use as a current uh, differentiated uh, switch, so if the solar PV ground goes to ground, the switch will trip, and for us in RVs that's uh, absolutely essential. And then we've got a seven inch display up here instead of the usual uh, five inch display. Now down the bottom there is a smart battery protect, 48 volt, and that's driving the heaters in the bottom of the rooftop tent that you would have seen in the last couple of days and the compact solar controller. Now we're just going to see what we're going to get out of Scotty here at the back there and you can see it idle here which hovering around a bit 700 to 1100 we're not so worried about that. Okay take it up the cam to cruising speed. So at cruising speed here we're comfortably doing 25, 40, and it's like a rock, 25, 41, 42, 47. They're just sitting there like a rock. So that's charging actually at 2681 when we add in the solar. So with the Scotty, the solar is in addition to that. So that's putting in 26, nearly 2700 watts into the battery here at the back and the battery's over float voltage. This is quite a high voltage uh, for this battery. So that's a fantastic job. That'll fully replenish those batteries there in about two and a half hours, I've got to say, how good's that?